All right, welcome back to Alps Mustang Garage, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be doing some front wheel bearings, uh, wheel bearing replacements. So, uh, just to kind of show you, you know, the very first step. Obviously, I got the uh, the drum off the vehicle, so we're going to start from there. Um, to show you how the seal comes out, I've already popped the seal out. You can get these very basic uh, seal remover tools from Harbor Freight or AutoZone. And essentially what you're going to be doing is just going to put it in here and you're going to be driving or pulling, I'm sorry, pulling that seal out like that. Um, of course it's not that easy, but um, it just it just pops right out and then you can get your inner bearing out. So once your bearings are out, you can kind of clean up some of the grease and you can kind of see what you're working with. So typically you want to do the bearing races, which are these. Um, that are pressed in, they're driven into the to the drum assembly here. Um, and you're gonna see, looking through, there's gonna be a, a lip or an edge there and there as well. And that's where you can kind of use your hammer or a, and a drift or a chisel to you know, knock that out uh, if you're just doing this from home. Um, I'm gonna cheat, so I have an air hammer that I'm gonna use. So we're going to just kind of prop this up on the vise. This will simulate your standard hammer and chisel from home. Not really, but um, I have good tools, so I like to use them. So we're just going to get on the end of that uh, race, and we're just going to drive it right out. And there is that. So, um, yeah, you can do it at home with a hammer. It takes a little longer. But, um, you know, this is better. So, <laughs> flip this over. We're going to do the same thing just on the opposite side. We're going to get right down in there and drive out the inner race. are now out. Okay, so now we're going to drive in our new uh, deal here, our new race. So this is just a basic uh, Harbor Freight tool set that I use. Um, so bearing race and seal driver set. Very affordable, very effective, works really good actually. So we're going to find the appropriate, uh, appropriate cup to fit over our race. Make sure it's going in correctly, so that you know it's not going to go in. It's not going to go in like this. It's going to go in like this. And that is so that we can accommodate the new bearing. Take it in, goes in like that. So, okay. Put that in. Make sure you're going in straight, and just hammer her in. As soon as that uh, sound changes, is usually when it's bottomed out. You can give her a couple extra for a good measure. Okay, that side is down. Now we're going to use the same technique. Get our this is our uh, outer bearing in race, smaller one. I switch cup sizes.
Okay. Okay. New race is in. So now we're going to pack our bearing, put that in, and then the seal goes in. Once the seal is in, you can't get your bearing in. So the seal goes in last. This is my handy bandy bearing, uh, wheel bearing grease packer. Um, this is very nice. I know a lot of old schoolers that love to do it by hand, but. It's a messy enough job as it is, so put the bearing in here and just kind of push down. Forces all the grease all through there and everything. Gives it a nice even bearing back. Quick. Okay, so that's ready to ready for a new seal. Uh, this is a a four lug car, six cylinder car, wheel seal from National Wheel Seals. Does not go this way, it goes this way. Okay, there's the same kit that I used to drive in my bearing races. One, it's just going to go flush so it can kind of overlap a little bit. That's fine. Your seal's in. Outer bearing goes in when you uh, reassemble this car. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do a quick pack on it, and then this drum will be uh, ready to assemble. So as always, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.